Now, to carry on our inspirational story series, our next guest has an amazing story, including life-changing weight loss. Let's welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Georgia Nesbitt. Yay! Welcome, Georgia. Thank you. Great to have you on the show. And I just wanted yeah. to know, how much weight have you lost and in what length of time did you do it? So I've lost 50 kilos in about um, like a year and six months. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. Okay, so you uh, you reached 100 kgs, I heard, at the age 10. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's huge. Huge. Yeah. And what were you at your heaviest? Um, I was 123 kilos at my heaviest and I was 15 years old. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow, yeah. what a difference. So what sort of lifestyle were you living at that time then? Um, oh, terrible, just binge eating. Yeah, huge binge eater. Yeah, yeah so yeah. what have you done? What, what, I guess what sort of clicked with you that made you go, right, okay, now I need to start looking after myself? I think I had so much failures before I really got to that point where I was so over it. And it takes a long time and like I just, you will finally get to that point where you're just like, I can't do this anymore. Like, yeah. I want to back up just slightly. You know, you, you're quite big at a young age. Yeah. Do you blame anybody else for, I guess, enabling you to get to that weight? Definitely not. No. no. <laughs> I um, I mean, it, childhood is a big thing, um, and being obese because you don't get to make a lot of choices that you do make food-wise. Um, but I don't blame anyone. I think it was just, you know, my my. Dad's a lot different. He's small, and my brother's not as was never as big as me. And I think it was just me, and I went through a lot of emotional things growing up. And I think that's just the cause of it. And it was myself, yeah. And yeah. I did that to me, and I totally take blame for that. Yeah, that's that's good that you own it. But I guess what everyone wants to know is how did you lose the weight, and how yeah. did you keep it off? Because that's yeah, the hardest thing. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, so I cut out um, your like processed carbohydrates, your pastas, your rice, um, your breads, things like that. Um, and I try to just aim for a natural diet where I'm eating good food that come from the ground that aren't processed and things like that, yeah. How hard was it to get used to that lifestyle change? It was hard. Yeah, there was many times where I gave up and, you know, there's times where I do slip up. Just, you know, we all make choices and sometimes they're not as great as the others. No, and you're right about that, but how did you keep doing it? Because I guess a lot yeah, of people, they do they it for a couple up. of weeks and they give up. They do. Um, my biggest motivation was the gym because I live um, so far out of town that it wasn't possible for me to go to the gym like everyone else. Um, and I knew that if I was to sign up and make it work, which I incredibly did, um, you know, I would be able to go and um, I just thought if I've got this opportunity, take it and smash it out. Yeah, yeah. good on you. Because I, I personally have made lots of charitable donations to gyms yeah. in my time. And <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I guess, was there another motivation there as well? What was school like for you? Um, bullies were, oh my gosh. Awful? Awful, yeah. Um, a lot of things said behind my back, to my face on social media, about my weight, about the way I looked. And I also didn't get accepted from people, but there's, you find many that don't like you. Like yeah. Being big, yeah. Yeah, and that's their loss too, isn't yeah, it, if they don't get to know you. Okay, you, you know, I read that you have continually been bullied online, even though you have lost a lot of weight. What is it like? Oh, it's tough. Um, it's easy to get your um, self-esteem down, your confidence down, um, and it makes you second-guess yourself and who you are and your morals and what you believe in, and it is hard, but you just, yeah, I mean, I'm, I tend to be quite positive. Um, but, yeah, it's hard when you're getting backlash so much for being such a good person. I wouldn't say I'm a bad person No, that's awful, yeah, isn't yeah. it? So, I mean, for anyone else out there that's having that bullying online, etc., have you got any advice for them? What would you say? Um, honestly, stick it out. Yeah? Yeah. Um, ride with it. Don't go against it. Don't make a scene. Just accept it. Accept what people are doing to you, but never let it get you down yourself, because it will just tear you down. Like, be the person that you sh want to sh like be in front of others, especially me. And who's been your greatest support person or support group, I guess, that's helped you through all this? My biggest support was like my parents completely, and nice. um, um, like amazingly, but. Also my friends. I've had some amazing friends in my life who have come in through everything. Being my friend when I was over, like obese, overweight, and being my friend now. And um, yeah, I'm so lucky for everyone in my life who has supported me through it. Yeah, it is hard. Okay, and what's next for you? 
What's next? I'm hoping to make a raw foods business soon. Yes. Oh, and this is what we've got here. Yeah, I've actually made a raw caramel slice um, for you guys to try. I Thank had you. so much awesome feedback from it. Um, yeah, it's, it's something that I want to <laughs> yeah. keep going on with. Yeah, yeah. business. Yeah. Nice. Oh, well, I'm going to yeah. tuck into yeah. that. Really yeah. good yeah. luck with that. Thank yeah, you. and thanks for your great advice too. Amazing. And just, you know, being real. I think Thank it's really guys. important. Thank so you congratulations. So Thank you. Okay, Holly, you can head off because you've got some work to do. You can take some of that caramel slice with you if you yeah, want. Yeah, take a pack. Save, oh, not the whole plate. <laughs> <laughs>